they're coming at your Social Security. You think I'm kidding? No, just go read the only election year plan the Republicans have put out this year. And joining me right now is Senate Minority Whip, member of the Senate Finance Committee, is Senator John Thune. Senator, thanks very much for joining us this weekend. Hi, Maria. Nice to be with you. So what's your reaction to President Biden continuing these attacks on so-called MAGA Republicans? He says the Republicans are the ones that are irresponsible when it comes to the fiscal situation. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's probably the biggest, uh, I, biggest joke we've all heard a long time, Maria. The president, obviously, so much for being a unifier, but this is an election season. And the American people have a clear choice this year. And what the president has laid out is a, an agenda that grows and expands government, raises taxes, increases spending, increases debt. And, um, and what Republicans are talking about, obviously, is entirely opposite of that. We want an economy that uh, works for the American people, one that uh, allows them to uh, spend their own money and, uh, and reduces their dependence upon Washington, D.C. These are two very different visions for the future of this country, and obviously the president uh, believes his is the correct one, and we obviously disagree, and we're going to duke it out in the campaigns, and I believe our vision is going to win. We see that in the polls. Seventy-five percent of the American people say that the country is headed in the wrong direction. I was really struck by Janet Yellen last week talking about inflation and the economy as if everything is going really well. I mean, she dismissed in three quick sentences inflation, including a claim that the causes of inflation are largely global. She did not mention at all the fact that we actually saw a contraction. Uh, the Wall Street Journal writes, Janet Yellen's fantasy economy. Well, it is a fantasy, and, and it's something they don't want to discuss for, for obvious reasons. So they're trying to change the subject. They want to make it about something else. That's why the president's going out and attacking uh, Republicans, trying to create divisions among Republicans in this country. But the facts are, are very clear, and the American people know it. I mean, they're spending $9,000 a year more this year to buy the same basket of goods they did last year. And that, in the end, is what people, I think, are going to make their decision on when November rolls around. So it's the president has to do what to, he can to try and shift attention away from this. Uh, Janet Yellen, anybody associated with this administration and this problem, wants to talk about something else because their policies, extreme amounts of wasteful spending coupled with lack of a coherent energy policy, uh, higher taxes, heavy regulations, that is what has contributed to this inflationary crisis that the American people are experiencing on a daily Daily basis today. Uh, unfortunately, inequality has gotten worse under this president, and I'm struck by all the money he wants for the IRS, $80 billion wanting to hire 87,000 new auditors. So we're all going to get audited, I guess, but we're going to talk about 166,000 IRS agents versus 20,000 border agents. I mean, when you look at it that way, it is pretty stark where the priorities are. Yeah, and we tried to give them an opportunity during the vote on their big uh, tax and spending spree bill uh, to actually allocate more resources and personnel to the border where we've got a huge crisis for which this administration owns uh, responsibility as well. And, uh, and, 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 you know, take away from the number of people they're going to add to the IRS. And they voted it down, and they voted on a party line basis. And that's something that every Democrat who's running for reelection this year uh, needs to be held accountable for. I think in the end, the American people are going to conclude that when it comes to the core issues that they care about, um, this administration and the Democrat leadership in the Congress, and they control all yeah. of government right now, has failed them. I want to get your take on social media. A judge has ordered key members of the White House to turn over their email conversations with social media companies. The lawsuit filed by Missouri's attorney general alleging that the Biden administration colluded with the likes of Facebook and Twitter to hide uh, information on Hunter Biden and COVID-19. Listen to this. All of this should scare Americans that their government is actually, you know, moving and, and using and outsourcing their censorship to these social media platforms to silence Americans. It's the first time we've been able to look under the hood where the federal government is directing these social media uh, platforms to deplatform people to silence folks, and they're doing it. The government doesn't get to do that. They don't get to outsource their censorship, which is why this lawsuit's so important, and the revelations so far have been shocking. Senator, you are the ranking member of the Senate subcommittee overseeing these social media companies. What can you do about it? Uh, obviously, we have seen a censorship on a grand scale. 
Yeah, and it's even and even worse than what was just reported, Maria. And I've got several uh, pieces of legislation that would be solutions to help. But the, the social media companies, one, they use opaque algorithms to moderate the content that people say, see, and, and influence what the American people are seeing. And two, they do a lot of censoring. And we saw this in the 2020 election. There was a study done subsequent to that election that showed that uh, of the political emails that were sent by Republican candidates for office, in 2020, almost 70 percent got sent to spam, got filtered out. Democrats, 8 percent. I mean, think about that. And they can't defend it. They can't explain it. They say it's their algorithms. The rules have got to change when it comes to social media and how they manipulate uh, the content that the American people are seeing and their ability to communicate. Um, and and, 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 the, and in this case, of course, as you pointed out, the government influencing these social yeah. media companies and determining what gets uh, seen by the American people. Well, it's quite extraordinary, and yet he's over there saying it's the Republicans who are a threat to democracy. Unbelievable, Senator. We're going to keep a spotlight on this, and we hope you'll come back soon to continue the conversation. Thanks so much for being here. Great to be with you. Thanks, Maria.